Hello, our dear viewers, and welcome to our show. Today, we'll be discussing the second part of the previous episode, which is the foods that are really great for diabetics. So these are foods, again, that will enhance um, the diabetic's lifestyle. They will really try to minimize, you know, the side effects or the complications that come with diabetes. are not alone. Of course they're not alone. We're right here. No, I mean, they're not alone because they have diabetes. This affects millions of people every year. Millions? Is there a cure? Unfortunately, there is no cure. But there is treatment. And after we tell you what is happening in your body, we'll show you how to take care of yourself. Look out, diabetes. Here we come. The body is made of trillions of cells. That's a million million that need energy to function. Millions of millions? That's a lot. Mm, how about seven? The food you eat is turned into sugar, which is called glucose. And glucose travels to all of your cells through the bloodstream. Inside your body is an organ called the pancreas. The pancreas makes something called insulin, which helps all those cells in your body use the glucose. Your cells need the glucose to grow and get the power they need. If you have diabetes, your body has trouble controlling the level of glucose in your blood. Either your pancreas isn't making enough insulin, or your cells aren't reacting to the insulin the way they should. So there's too much glucose running around in your blood. And that's a bad thing? Yes. Having too much or too little glucose in your blood can damage your heart, blood vessels, kidneys, brain, and nerves and cause eyesight that gets worse and worse over many years. And that's not good. How do we know if we have this? Some symptoms are too much thirst or hunger, peeing too often, weight loss, tiredness, changes in vision, slow healing cuts, and itching of your skin that goes on and on. That's a lot of stuff. That's why it's very important for people with diabetes to take care of themselves. In some cases, People with diabetes need to take daily insulin shots. Sometimes you can control this disease through diet and exercise and taking medication by mouth. Your doctor can help you with a diet and medication plan so that your blood sugar is regulated. I know some healthy foods, fruit, vegetables, whole grains, fish, nuts, beans. And you need to exercise too. Getting good exercise really helps your body control your glucose levels. You can run, swim, skip, hop, Bicycle? Jump rope? Play games? Just keep your body moving. Dance! But, even when you're as active as Daniel, you still need to check your blood sugar level regularly. Your doctor will show you how and, in no time, you'll be able to do it yourself. And we've discussed other foods previously, so we'll continue on today with different foods that you can add to your diet that won't raise your blood sugar and will improve your overall health. And the first food I'd like to start with are nuts. Now, nuts are really very beneficial. They're very healthy and they're really loaded with omega-3s and lots of healthy fats. But with nuts, you really have to be careful about which nuts you're choosing and how much you're eating. Like I said, nuts are very loaded in fat, therefore the calorie amount in nuts can be very high. And if you really don't control the portion of nuts that you're eating, you could be leading yourself to weight gain. So it's important to be very careful with how much you take. A handful is usually roughly a good amount to take. And I usually say don't leave a large amount in front of you because that's when things can get out of control. And with nuts, just make sure that it really not you know roasted or roasted with different flavorings because these flavorings could actually raise your blood sugar so some companies do add some form of sugar to the flavorings try to get something like a dry roasted nut if you're not a fan of raw nuts but raw nuts are definitely the best choice that you can have keep in mind that things like pistachios and cashews are usually higher in carbohydrates than other nuts things like almonds and walnuts are really great for you you. And a lot of studies have shown that, you know, consuming about 10 walnut halves a day could be beneficial at not only reducing your blood sugar, but your blood pressure as well. So if you are someone that has blood pressure issues, walnuts, about 10 halves, so that's five whole, whole 
walnuts can actually benefit and lower your blood pressure. But walnuts aren't the only ones, so can broccoli. So broccoli is another great vegetable to be adding to your diet. Broccoli is loaded with vitamin C and magnesium. So a lot of times with diabetics, they do have some muscle spasms or the nerve endings aren't really functioning properly. So they are in a lot of pain. The magnesium in the broccoli could actually be very beneficial. Now stay tuned, we have some more foods to cover for you. Welcome back, our dear viewers. So let's take a look at the other foods that could actually be beneficial. Olive oil is another excellent fat that you could be adding to your diet. Again, it will help protect your heart. So it's really loaded with antioxidants. Olive oil doesn't really raise your blood sugar. So you can have that sparingly, but again, be careful because it is a fat. So keep in mind that about one tablespoon of olive oil will have 120 calories. So try to be careful when you're using the olive oil. Don't use a lot of it. Flax seeds are really another great source of fat that you could use. Some people like to use flaxseed oil or you can just use the flaxseed itself. Make sure you grind it because your body does not make much use of it when it's whole. So it does have to be ground and when it's ground you really need to be storing it in very cold conditions because it can spoil quickly since it really does have a lot of oil in it. And with flax seeds, again, they protect your heart. They give you an overall boost in omega-3s as well as antioxidants. So really a great seed to include in your diet. You can sprinkle it on your soups or salads or you can even sprinkle it on Greek yogurt if you'd like and this will give you a great protein and healthy fat boost. Now these are not the only things. Apple cider vinegar is actually another great addition to your diet. Apple cider vinegar has been shown to have a lot of benefits for diabetics. I always recommend that people add it to their salads with their salad dressings or if they can tolerate it, they can add one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar with warm water and they could have that daily and hopefully increase it to two tablespoons. So that's the aim, to get about two tablespoons to get that antioxidant benefit of apple cider vinegar. And not only is it loaded with antioxidants, but it really is great at improving your insulin sensitivity and lowering your blood sugar slightly. So a great thing to have when you're having a lot of fatty food. We have some more foods to cover. Please stay tuned. Welcome back our dear viewers. So I know a lot of diabetics worry about what kind of fruit they could be adding to their diet. We know that bananas for example and pomegranate and mango really contain a lot of sugars in them and you know half of that fruit is considered one fruit serving. So you really have to be careful with those but the good news is that a lot of berries and especially strawberries are very low in sugar. So you can have a larger quantity if you are someone that's a fruit lover. So with strawberries you can have about 10 pieces which is quite a large amount with berries like raspberries and blueberries you can have one cup again they're loaded with antioxidants they're really a great snack for you to have they're really perfect um, for any diabetic and any person that's not even a diabetic and what's great about fruits is they also tend to lower your blood pressure so it's really important for you to include them in your daily diet you know have as much of them as you can but of course control your portion. So don't go overboard with the fruits. They will raise your blood sugar. But the good news is that strawberries have been linked to improving eye function. So that's a common problem with many diabetics, including strawberries. Try to have them at least on a weekly basis and that should improve your overall health. 
but strawberries aren't the only thing. Squash as a vegetable is also a great addition to add to any diabetic's diet. And the great thing with squash is that it comes in many varieties. The most common one that we see here is the zucchini. And these zucchinis are really great for us to have in our diet. Um, they really don't have many calories in them. And you can add them as a vegetable source in your daily meals. They will help improve your blood sugar. They will help boost your antioxidant function. Again, they're really rich in many vitamins, so don't take them lightly. I know they do have somewhat of a bland taste. You could always enhance them with a lot of spices. And a great thing to enhance the flavor of your food with is garlic. And garlic has really been found to be very beneficial to all diabetics. It will help lower your blood pressure. It really does, you know, give you a good antibacterial dose. So try to include garlic on a daily basis. One key thing to remember with garlic is if you are gonna have it crushed, let it sit there for about two, three minutes so the oxygen goes through and that will increase the antioxidant amount in that garlic and it will make it more beneficial to you. But these are definitely some of the foods that we really think you should include. They will definitely give you an overall benefit and health and wellness. We hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and we'll see you all next time.